Hello, my name is Brainerd Carey. This is the second episode in a series about education and professional development for artists. I'm a professional artist and I'm also an author. I've authored this book, New Markets for Artists, about sharing your work and selling it on the internet. And I've written this book called Making It in the Art World, a bestseller on Amazon. Both books are designed to help artists with their professional careers and this is what I do. I'm an educator, an author, as well as a professional artist. Today what I want to tell you a little bit about is how to meet patrons and collectors for your art. That is, how to meet people who are in your area, who are wealthy, and have an interest in helping artists and supporting activities that have to do with the arts. In a way, it's quite simple. Wherever you work in the world, wherever your studio is, whether it's a city or outside a city, the important thing to do to find these people who are nearby you and could be patrons of the arts is to look at nonprofit centers. That could be theaters, that could be museums, it could be alternative spaces. Depending on where you live, it will mean something different. But it doesn't mean galleries. We're not looking at people who are running for profit businesses. A museum is a nonprofit. An alternative space that helps artists or gives grants to artists is a nonprofit. A theater, a community center are all nonprofits. And they all have something to do with the arts. So, to begin with, if you're in a city or you have any museum nearby you, what I would do is go to their website as well as go to the museum and look at who the donors are. It's quite simple to find who the donors are near the door or on the list of a brochure of a museum or on a website it'll say friends of the museum, donors to the museum and there's literally a list of names of people who have donated a significant amount of money to that institution to help it be what it is today. If it's a museum there are people who have donated money directly to a museum if they are, if it is a theater, it's people who have donated money directly to a theater. If it's an alternative space or any kind of uh, a council on the arts is also a, a state-run organization or a government-run organization that often has private money as well, a list of friends, donors, sponsors who help that space to exist. And all of these people who are sponsors or friends or donors of museums are people who could help you. So to begin with, the first step in order to meet these people is to find the nonprofit institutions in your area, find the museums, find any other center that's a nonprofit, go to their website, go to the museum, and write down all the names of the people. Unless there's an enormous amount of them, start at the top and do the first 10 or 20. Write down those names of people who are patrons of the arts, who are friends or donors or benefactors of the museum that's within drivable distance to you or a local nonprofit center. Now, once you have those names, they're not celebrities, these are people you can usually look up in the phone book. If they are, in fact, very wealthy people, then they will have foundations. Foundations means they have a special bank account, a special way of donating to the arts through. Um, a special branch of their finances which they turn into a foundation for giving. They may also just be private people, but most people, private people meaning they give donations without having a foundation or a family foundation, but most major donors to museums and nonprofit centers have foundations of their own. It's a way they save money on taxes. Look through the phone book. Find their numbers, their phone numbers. Call them up you'll probably reach a foundation. When you reach the foundation, all you have to say is, I'm an artist. I noticed you were a benefactor of such and such a foundation. I was wondering if you accept any kind of applications from artists, if you will look at new artists' work. Very often, if they have a foundation, they will say right away, yes, we look at artists' work, or no, we don't look at artists' work. And then you have your answer. But either way, these are people who you want to build relationships with. So, as I said, the first way to begin a relationship is to find those names, those are on your target list of people you want to meet, and then begin calling them up 
and also writing letters. In further episodes, I'll go into details of how to write letters to these people, but at the very least, right now, you can begin your research by writing down those names and looking at what those people do. You could research them on Google, find out what parties they go to. They're people you want to meet. There are people who support the arts and ultimately who will support you, who are interested in artists. And this is the way to begin to find collectors and patrons who could help you with your art. Thank you for watching this. If you'd like more, you can look at the links below and like my Facebook page and you'll see more videos from me as well as drawing videos from Leonardo. And I thank you for watching this and wish you well in your career.